we have quite a few gorse fires in the summer months and how they're dealt with is depending on where they are. If we can get the appliance to the fire, great, because then we can use water to extinguish it. If we can't get the appliance to it, we use beaters, basically a shaft with a piece of leather, square piece of leather on the end of it, and you just go along and beat the fire out but manually. We also use backpack sprayers. I don't know any fireman that, that likes gorse fires. The two worst you can get is hay sheds and, and gorse, especially if it's mountain gorse, means you might have to walk a mile into the mountain before you get to the fire and then, and then the fun begins. Farmers liked the heather on some occasions on mountains. When it's gone then the grass can grow and then they can graze sheep on it. You get People lighting barbecues and things like that there and being careless with them, they walk away and leave it and then it ignites the gorse or grass or whatever. You can get uh, somebody that throws a bottle out of a car and it breaks, sunlight through the glass sets off the fire as well, you know. My name's Maliki Jimmis, Watch Commander Cushendall Station. 34 years in last Tuesday. The only one left of the original crew that when Cushendall Station opened. I've dealt with nearly everything, but not everything. Every day's a new day and there's always something different. Plenty of experience over the, the 34 years. Love the job, that's it. Plus the crew are brilliant. We all get on really well together, you know. This is Cushendall Station. There's 12 of a crew on a one pump station, which we are, and then it increases to 22 if there's two pumps at, for a two pump station for the likes of Larne, Ballycastle. Carnlock and ourselves are one pump stations. We're next door neighbours to each other. We both run with 12 of a crew. When the alerters go off, the first six people in go on the machine and the other six signs standby. 